When I first started home studio recording, I was using this, the original DigiDesign M-Box in all of its baby blue glory. Now fast forward about 22 years later, and we've got the M-Box Studio, and this is packed full of features. There's some features on here that I've never seen on an audio interface before, so we're going to dig in and check all of that out. But first, if you're interested in getting an audio interface or any home studio gear, be sure to visit Sweetwater. They have a huge selection of gear in stock every day with great prices and very fast shipping. So thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Now let's open this up and check it out. All right, first I wanna talk about the size of this thing because it is quite large. If you have a smaller desk and not somewhere where you can put this, that might come into a consideration when purchasing something like this. But if we look at the build quality, it is built solid. This is metal down here, the back's metal. There's solid plastic here and here, and the knobs all feel great. They're nice and solid. I think these two might be metal as well. They feel like a metal. The buttons are a nice soft rubber. They feel like a great quality. Now let's have a look at where the Mbox Studio really starts to shine, and that's through all of its inputs and outputs. So you can see it's kind of split into two parts. This side is for your inputs, and this side is for your outputs. We have on the front two mic preamps, which can also be used as line inputs or instrument inputs. And then you'll notice right here, we have a high Z or high impedance out to amp. So you can use this to reamp a guitar. You would just connect a cable to here, plug it into your guitar amp, have a microphone on the amp, and then record it back in. And that's something I've never seen on an audio interface before. Normally you would have to buy a reamp box, and those can be quite expensive depending on the one you get. Then if we flip it over, you can see we have two more mic preamps on here. So you can have a total of four mics connected at once if you're just using what's built on here. But there's also some expansion over here. You can have an ADAT in and you can connect an ADAT mic pre that might have up to eight more mic preamps on there. So lots of flexibility here. And there's also ADAT out. So if you wanna use external processors like compressors, EQs, whatever it is you wanna use, you can use the ADAT in and out to connect those. Now for more line inputs, we have one, two, three, four. So four more line inputs on here, plus you have two effects sends, which is really cool. There's also two inputs for foot switches. So maybe you wanna have one that can turn recording on and off, and maybe another one for like a wah pedal or something like that. You can do that with this. And then over here, we have a spit if in and out, and you can use that as an extra input. And then we also have MIDI in and out on here as well. So you can connect a MIDI keyboard directly to this or synthesizers, whatever it is, you need to connect, you can do that there. Controlling your inputs can all be done on here. You can push this in to switch what type of input you're using. You can control which input you're using. You have your 48 volt phantom power on there. You can link two together. So there's stereo, there's a pad on there as well. And another cool thing on here is the variable impedance, which you can control with this Z button right here. And this can come in handy if you're recording high output active guitar pickups. Some audio interfaces can't handle those and they will clip even if if you have the gain turned all the way down, but you can use this to play around with the impedance to see what works for your guitar pickups. Also, you can use that for microphones as well as it can change the tone of your microphone. So you can play around with that, see what works best for your microphones and your instruments. It's a very cool feature to have on here and it's something that I've never really seen on another audio interface. And now for another input on here, you have Bluetooth. So you can connect a Bluetooth device to here. You can even record that into your DAW as an input. And one more input that we'll talk about is the talkback mic that's built right into this thing. So if you're using this to record other artists, maybe they're in a separate room or a vocal booth, you can speak to them through the built-in talkback mic, which is really cool. You can also record that talkback mic. So I'm thinking it might be cool to do a video where I record an entire song using the talkback mic, like vocals, percussion instruments, maybe acoustic guitar, stuff like that. I think it'd be fun to just try out this talkback microphone, see what we can do. Now let's move on to the other side of the Mbox Studio, which is our output section. But before we do that, if you're enjoying the Mbox Studio and you're thinking of getting one for yourself, or you might wanna get another audio interface, 
be sure to visit Sweetwater. They're an avid authorized dealer, so they can not only help you with purchasing one of these, but you can also talk to one of their sales engineers to make sure that the Mbox Studio is right for your situation. Or whatever gear it is you're going to buy, you can make sure that it's going to be right for your situation. And these sales engineers, they're musicians, they're music producers. They know the gear that they're talking about. It's not just a call center. And another way that Sweetwater can help you out is through their flexible payment plan. So you can quickly and easily get the gear that you want right away and start working on your next big hit single, album, EP, whatever it is, you can get that gear that you need with Sweetwater. Now let's take a look at these outputs. And there's still more great features in this part of it that I've never seen on an audio interface. So be sure to stick around through all of this. On the front, we have our two headphone outputs. They can be controlled individually with these really nice knobs that are on the front here. And you can even send different mixes to each of the headphones, or you can have the same mix going to each of them. On the back, we have our standard left and right monitor outputs, so you can connect your monitors to there, just like normal. But you also get another two outputs on here that you can send to a second set of monitors. So you can quickly A-B test your mixes by switching what monitors you're listening to, or maybe you have them sent to another room for the band to listen to, whatever it is you need to do. There's a lot of flexibility in here, and you can even connect monitors to the SPDIF. If you have a SPDIF interface or maybe a subwoofer that can accept SPDIF, you can use that as a monitor output as well. And you can switch between them just by clicking in this button. It will switch from main to alt to digital, which is the SPDIF. And there's even Bluetooth output. So if you have your AirPods in or some other Bluetooth device, like a smart speaker, or maybe even your car, if it's close enough, you can connect to that and do the old car test just by using Bluetooth. So this will also act as a monitor controller. And I've been checking out monitor controllers for a while now. I've been wanting to get one. They're quite expensive, so you won't need one if you have the Mbox Studio because it's built right in there. Plus it also gives you the Bluetooth connection and the digital connection. This thing is really cool. You have mute, dim to lower the volume, your talk back button on here, and you have a mono button so you can instantly listen to your mixes in mono, see if there's any phase issues like that. This button right here, opens up the Mbox control software that you have on your computer. And that Mbox control software allows you to easily take control of all the inputs and outputs that are on here. Plus you can see we have these four buttons in the center here, and these are shortcut buttons. You can assign them to do various shortcuts. You can change the color of these buttons. You might not like the default color that they are. You can change the color of them, no problem in there. All right, now I wanted to try out the mic preamps built into the Mbox Studio. I have my Shure SM7B connected directly to the Mbox Studio. I haven't done any editing to this. What you're hearing is the raw audio. I do have the mic preamp cranked all the way up. So this is going to be a good test to hear how clean these mic preamps are because it is cranked to the max, but this is what it sounds like. And I did a quick listen through my headphones connected to it and I thought it sounded nice and clean. There's a really nice smooth sound to these mic preamps. I'm looking forward to start recording with this. I think it's going to be great. And the mic preamps that they put into this are apparently the same as what they put into their high-end Pro Tools carbon systems. I noticed that they're a very clean preamp. There's not a whole lot of character to them, but you can add all the character you want afterwards or use an external mic preamp if you want a ton of character going in. But using this for video or podcasting purposes, this would be great because of how nice and clean it is even when it's cranked Full. So now let's have a look at the bundled software that you get with the Mbox Studio. So first off, you get a year subscription to Pro Tools Studio, and this is a $300 value. Now, it comes with Pro Tools Studio. You don't have to use it. You can use this with any digital audio workstation you want. If you have Studio One, you can use it there. Ableton, FL Studio, whatever it is you use, you can use the Mbox Studio in there. And with that subscription to Pro Tools, you also get Melodyne Essentials with it, which can be a cool added bonus if you don't have it already. And if you do decide to use Pro Tools, it integrates super nice with the latest version of Pro Tools. Plus you get the complete bundle of effects and instruments that you can use in Pro Tools, which is like over 75 plugins. I'm pretty sure that you can only use those in Pro Tools though. But you'll also get the Mbox Ignition Pack and this includes a bunch of plugins and content like loops and samples, that sort of thing that you can download and you can use that wherever you want in other DAWs 
or in Pro Tools if you decide to go that route. And even more software that you're going to get with this is you'll be included in the Avid Inner Circle, which has a ton of more plugins and content in there that you can access. And that's stuff that you can keep forever, even after your Pro Tools subscription ends, if you should decide not to continue with it. So who is the Mbox Studio for? Well, First off, if you're a guitarist and you're looking for the ultimate guitar recording center, station, whatever, this is probably it. It has so many features built into it for guitarists and a lot of plugins that come with it are for guitarists and the reamping thing on there. It is an excellent audio interface for the guitarist wanting the ultimate guitar recording audio interface. Also, if you have a home studio that's a little more than just a hobby studio, you're starting to take it serious, but maybe you can't afford that big console yet, this audio interface can fill in until you can buy that console, as it has a ton of ins and outs for recording entire bands or whatever it is you need to record. You can do that with this confidently and very high quality. Also, if you're just somebody that wants to get into Pro Tools, this is an excellent entry into the world of Avid Pro Tools. It's going to give you everything you can possibly need. Plus, you get that subscription for a year so you can test it out and see if you really like Pro Tools. And even content creators, this can be for you. But if your big focus is about recording guitars, you should check out this really cool Epiphone Prophecy guitar by clicking the video right there. I love it in the studio because it's so versatile. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. For Audio Tech TV, I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.